In this video, I'll discuss a little bit about enthalpy and then walk through an example of change in enthalpy in a chemical reaction. First, this enthalpy. Enthalpy is denoted with the capital letter H and it is given units of energy. That is its label, it is some unit of energy. And oftentimes that is gonna be in kilojoules. Now the change in enthalpy then is often described as the change in heat or the heat change at constant pressure. And what we, what we mean by that is whether the reaction is taking in heat or giving it off. So that constant pressure is oftentimes just going to be our atmospheric pressure. That is what we, uh, what we live with every day roughly 14.7 pounds per square inch, or 760 millimeters of mercury, or one atmosphere, we call that one atmosphere, uh, denoted QP, that's the, the heat change at constant pressure. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about this change in H, this delta H, the, the triangle means change in. Change in H, that is equal to the the enthalpy of the of the ending products minus the enthalpy of the or the energy from the beginning reactants and you might be asking yourself why don't we just measure this h specifically well the reason is we can't we can't at this time in history uh, it's very difficult to, if, if not impossible, to, to measure the enthalpy of a, a specific compound. But we can measure the change in enthalpy. So that's what we do. Now, what if the change in enthalpy, delta H, is negative? Well, that means that you had more enthalpy in the reactants than you did in the products. So it's, it's giving off heat. It gives off heat. So a reaction that has a negative change in enthalpy gives off heat. So that's a, that you're, you're warming yourself in the, by the fire and the, those logs are reacting with the oxygen and uh, the logs from the giving tree, perhaps, to give you heat, they're giving off heat, but the change in enthalpy of, of, the, of that system, the logs and the oxygen, is net negative because it is giving something off. So we have this system, and it is giving something off. Now, what about the other direction? What if the change in enthalpy is positive? then it's taking in heat. Takes in heat. So melting of an ice cube, that is, that is uh, something that takes in heat. It must receive heat in order for that ice cube to melt. So if something is going in, some heat is going into the system, uh, then we, we say that the change in enthalpy is positive. That system is receiving heat or receiving the change in enthalpy is positive. So this would be, just for a quick refresher, this is exothermic when it gives off heat, just to tie some of these concepts together, and endothermic when it is taking in heat. And you may have heard or read it being, uh, a nice way to remember this is it's exiting, heat is exiting or entering the system. Okay. To the problem. Well, it turns out this little problem isn't so tough. So it's nice that we had some time to talk about enthalpy. Determine the amount of heat in kilojoules d given off when 4.65 times 10 to the fourth grams of NO2 are produced according to the equation. 2NO plus O2 yields 2NO2. And the change in enthalpy is negative 130.4 kilojoules per mole. So right away, let's just refresh ourselves. Change of enthalpy is negative. It's giving off heat. This is exothermic. And 
that matches what we're talking about because it says the heat given off, and that is an, an exothermic reaction. Okay, first of all, let's talk about um, this per mole business. This per mole refers to uh, the, it's for all reactants and, produ and products in their molar quantities. So any, any prefix you have here, you would, you would divide this by, by the prefix to, to talk about the, the kilojoules per amount of reactant that, uh, or, or product that, that is going on. Uh, that involves the, the kilojoules. So what I mean is, is this, the conversion or the change in heat for the NO2, the NO2, not to be conf confused with N2O, by the way. NO2 is nitrogen peroxide, or you can say nitrogen uh, dioxide. Uh, N2O is nitrous oxide, and that's the, N2O is laughing gas. But NO2 is a poisonous gas, and don't mess with it. Well, don't mess with laughing gas either. Here you go. The, for the NO2, the change in heat then is going to equal the negative 130.4 kilojoules for every 2 moles. And that's because of this 2 that we have here. Now, that is, that's just the uh, change in heat for every 2 moles. So we've got that. Now let's convert this. Let's keep on going with this, this change in heat. We have that, uh, that change in heat for every 2 moles of the NO2, but we, we don't know how many moles we have yet. We do know how many grams. So let's, let's put this in our sample. This is 46500. I've taken this, moved this decimal point four places to the right. We have that many grams, and so I'll call this just our sample. Sample of, of the, or I guess product, sample of the NO2, how much we got at the end. And then multiply that by the conversion. So that is um, for every one mole. Why am I putting that in the numerator? Well, I want these moles to cancel. That's why. So for every one mole of, of the NO2, the molar mass is 46.01 grams. And we want grams in the denominator, so I can cancel these grams, and we're left with kilojoules. Wonderful. So again, this, this is just converting uh, the, the, the grams to moles. So that's all I did in the green. Now... I'm running out of space. I better put the answer here. I have this is approximately equal to rounding to two significant digits. Negative, negative 6.59 times 10 to the fourth kilojoules. And that is the change in enthalpy. But it wants us to answer the question, and that is what is the heat given off? So if this is some multiple choice question, don't be fooled with the negative answer. This is, the system is uh, losing. It's giving off uh, 6.59 times 10 to the fourth kilojoules, or its net change in enthalpy is negative. So then it gives off. That means that it gives off a positive 6 point, or we feel 6.59 times 10 to the fourth kilojoules of heat. That requires another F, the word off. All right, a nice, a nice good example of enthalpy. If you did find this video helpful, consider liking it or sharing it with a friend.